This tutorial will introduce you to extended Fourier analysis in SPIP. You will find the Fourier analysis tool on the Analyze tab. Simply press the FFT button to generate a Fourier transform of the image. The Fourier image is automatically selected so that the ribbon now exhibits the dedicated Fourier tools. Please note that you can zoom in in the Fourier image using the scroll wheel on your mouse. Now click the Peak Marker tool. When clicking the Peak Marker tool, SPIP will try to find two Fourier peaks which can be associated with a unit cell. The unit cell grid is shown in the image, and the coordinates of the selected peaks are shown in the dialog. The Fourier peak markers can now be moved to other peaks. When the peak markers are moved, the corresponding unit cell is calculated and displayed. When the peak markers are on the same line, a one-dimensional periodicity will be calculated using the most inner peak. You can use the Area of Interest tools to isolate certain frequencies in the Fourier image. Once you have made your selection, you can press the Inverse FFT button. Now SPIP has separated the image into two images. The Inverse FFT image contains the wavelengths inside the marked area of interest. The inverse difference contains the wavelengths outside the marked area of interest. Please note that the Fourier dialog contains many other tools for extended Fourier analysis. These include threshold filtering and bandpass filtering. Thank you for your attention.